Hi, I'm Jim with Stuff Music, and I'm here today to do a demo of the Gibson Les Paul Modern. The Gibson Les Paul Modern, finished here with a sparkling burgundy top. The neck is mahogany with an ebony fretboard, 24 and 3 quarter inch scale, 10 to 16 inch compound radius, asymmetrical slim taper neck shape, and locking Grover tuners. The body's mahogany with a maple top, burst bucker pro in the neck and pro plus in the bridge, push-pull controls for coil splitting, bypass, and phase flip wiring, which I'll cover shortly. And finally, this guitar includes a hard shell case from Gibson. Get yours today at instuffmusic.com, and thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit like, leave a comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Okay, now we're back after the technical specs of the guitar. There's a lot of uh, different features on this Les Paul. So before we get into everything, let's take a look at the amp settings and how we're recording. Going through this uh, deluxe reverb, volume between four and five, treble between five and six, bass between four and five, reverb from the amp between two and three out to the aux into the recording interface. And I will be using uh, Noble's ODR-1 and a little delay from an analog JHS delay pedal here and there. So before we get into sounds, let's go through these controls. Uh, every one of these knobs is push-pull. So in the neck and the bridge, the volume knobs do that, split the coils. Okay, so pull out the volume for the uh, neck, you split the neck down here, pull out the volume for the bridge, split the bridge. The bridge tone is a bypass. So you pull that out, all this in here, bypassed. The tone for the neck is a phase flip. So pull that, flips the phase. Let's begin on the neck. Everything normal, everything on 10. Here it is. Split it. Here we go. Same thing. So Gibson describes these um, when they're split like this as kind of a more P90 ish thing. Let's roll the tone off a little and roll the volume off a little. 
with the P90-ish, you know, coil split thing engaged. Going back up, tone still off a bit. Back to humbucking mode. Tone on like three, volume on about nine. Here's the bypass switch gauge now. Back on, bypass. Let's take it to the middle. So there's a lot of possibilities here because we can split. Uh, Either of these guys, you can put it in bypass, we can um, flip the phase. So let's try to hit them quickly. Here's just everything on 10. Here's the next split. the uh, bridge split. Here's both of these guys split. Here's bypass. Here's with the uh, phase switch up. So there's the neck. Both. So you can get a lot going on in the middle there. Back to normal. Here's the bridge, straight up. Tone on about eight now on the bridge, volume on 10. There's a volume back to about eight, tone back up. You hear the sweep of that. Split.
and back to normal. Okay, so there are all of our permutations and possibilities clean. I'm not gonna hit every single one of those with overdrive, but let's just run back through with this ODR1. Here we got. Here is the neck, wide open. Oh, if I turned it on. Here's split. Bypass. Here's the middle, everything straight up. Next split. Bridge split. Both of them split. Bypass. Here's the phase switch up. Uh, these two guys in humbucking mode. Next split. Both of them split. It's the bridge. Bridge straight up. Tone off to about seven. Split. Take the volume off a little bit. Bypass. Tone off. Tone back up. Okay, hopefully that covers all of it. That's the Les Paul Modern from Gibson.